Hey everybody, it's Kathy, and I wanted to take a quick moment to do a video about the different anti-aging things that we talk about a lot. Um, I am at work, and I'm, it's Saturday, I'm between clients, so I'm going to have to make this quick. Um, you know how I feel about the importance of, of vitamin A, retinoids, in your skin care uh, to fight against aging. The other important ingredient that I haven't talked as much about, and many of you have sent in questions regarding, are antioxidants, um, and that would fall that would be the following, um, vitamin C, vitamin A, you hear tocopherol, um, um, astaxanthin, that's a new kind of um, becoming very popular antioxidant. It's supposed to be quite a bit more powerful than um, vitamin E. So the difference between a retinoid and antioxidant when it comes to aging skin is the retinoid is going to be very beneficial in damage that you already have sun damage, um, aging, the things that you're already seeing on your face. Okay, that's going to be really important for helping to smooth the fine lines, helping to fade the brown spots. There's nothing that's going to work more toward that goal, having younger looking skin. The other flip side of it is we want to prevent new damage because every day, you know, we think that we're just fighting what we're looking at. I look in the mirror and see all these things I hate. I have to remind myself that an even bigger part of the story is what we don't even see yet and that's where that old woods lamp I talked about that's where that comes in handy um, to see what's already there that hasn't even shown up yet so we really want to do just as much to prevent new damage further damage and antioxidants do that um, and the reason that I that I talk so much about retinoids is most people I find m most women they want to see a difference now the antioxidants aren't going to be as, um, they're not going to be as, as, as fun and exciting to use because they're not going to be the wow thing when you look in the mirror and say, gosh, I can't believe how much better my skin looks. It's all about prevention with antioxidants. Whereas with the retinoids, you're going to get a little bit more of that wow factor. It's more bang for the buck as far as what you're seeing. So um, a lot of people, I can tell they're easily overwhelmed with too many products, too many steps. That's why I really push the vitamin A, the retinoid, first. After somebody is on a program where they, they're starting to see a difference in their skin, they're starting to be happy with it, um, then I might talk to them about the next step, which is the protection in the form of the antioxidants. So if you want a really in-depth explanation of how antioxidants work, you can Google it. There's tons of info that explains it with the, the odd number of atoms and um, the domino effect, the cellular breakdown that occurs. I'm not going to go into all that. All you need to know is antioxidants are going to prevent new damage. Retinoids are going to help take care of the damage that's already there. There is some kind of differing opinions as to when to use antioxidants. I've read a lot of your comments when you say, oh, I was told we shouldn't use our antioxidants in the morning. We should only use them in the evening because they are um, deteriorated with from the sun. You know, my belief in that is that I, I use antioxidants on my skin both morning and night, morning and evening. Reason being, I was trained that antioxidants help to protect your skin um, from sun damage. They help to make your skin more able to protect itself from the sun damage during the daytime. Um, and then of course at nighttime, that's when your skin is doing all of its repair, so that's a great time to use it. So I disagree with the whole don't use it during the daytime. I think that it, it offers additional benefits during the day. It just helps support your skin in being able to protect itself. That's my opinion. You can you know read up on it and, and form your own opinions. But I do think if you want to throw everything at your skin, don't uh, forget about doing the antioxidants. Um, and I do believe in a combination. I like to have more than just one antioxidant. And um, vitamins, as I said, vitamin C, A, um, and S, the xanthan, those are very popular right now. The problem with vitamin C is a lot of people, if you have sensitive skin, it's going to be very irritating. It may sting you like crazy. Um, so for some people, that's not an option. But as I said, you can use other forms. So just get some type of um, antioxidant on your skin. You know that osmosis, many of you have seen osmosis makes, um, what is it, replenish, and it's tolerated well by most skins, so that's somewhere you can look. 
Um, they, they also make a powder, a vitamin C blend that is activated when it's moistened and um, so it's very powerful but for a lot of people it stings. Um, it does sting me. It, it's not that big a deal. But um, So anyway, I hope that was a, just a quick explanation of why you need both but if you're somebody that money is very tight and you you don't you just want to do the very minimum start with the retinoid and then um, and then move to the to the antioxidant next just because the retinoid uh, it does offer some protection against uh, free radicals and you're going to get a lot of um, improvement in your skin so that's it. I hope this helped explain a little bit. And please click on Google and type in antioxidants and um, see. It, it's, it's, there's really a lot of really good information that explains it really well. Hope that helps. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.